Hello, this is Ben from XXP3 Programmers PPG Studios, and today I'm just going to give you the basics of the Nikon D3100. I haven't actually got the product, but I certainly have a little magazine. And so, basically, I got this from my from this um, photographer who owns a shop nearby, um, and I popped in, and he suggested a few of these. Um, I shall be doing one on the Nikon D3200 as well, as well as the Nikon D5100. Um, but back to the D3100. Um, you can either get it in a colour, the actual body, in a red or black. The black is kind of like a shiny, and the red is kind of shiny as well, as you can see. It's DX format. 14.2 effective megapixels CMOS image sensor it's got an XP2 Nikon's new image processing engine so basically kind of like a processor um, ISO sensitive from 100 to 3200 expandable to ISO 12800 equivalent it's got guide mode on it so it's, it is a very beginner's DSLR camera well, yeah, it is a very beginner's DSLR. Um, D movie full HD 1080p shooting, 7.5 three inches of monitor and live view shooting. The easy operation mode, you've either got the choice of auto, no flash, distant subject, close ups sleeping faces, moving subjects, landscapes, portraits or night portrait. Advanced operation, so once you've had a little feel with the camera and you feel that you can go to the next step, it's actually got an advanced operation mode which softens the background, brings more into focus, freeze motion for people, um, freeze motion for vehicles, and show water flowing. So basically, going back to the freeze motion, basically if they're walking, um, it will tend to put, make capture as much light as possible um, by putting up the f-stop, I'm pretty sure, um, which obviously increases the, the shutter speed. The higher the shutter speed, the better. It'll catch it into more detail. Live view with new autofocus modes. Scene auto selector. So basically, if you've just got this camera and you don't really know all settings to do with camera, you can actually just select auto and it's got like a little heart next to it. And um, basically, that means it picks all of the settings for you from f stops, your aperture, your ISO, your shutter speed, all of that sorts of stuff. You've got close ups, auto, portrait landscape or night portrait that's only a few I think that's just on the top rotating dial you can link the camera up via a TV it's got active D lighting and it's got a little bit here saying shooting in bright sunlight often produces pictures with extreme contrast between light and dark areas resulting in loss of tone and detail active D lighting effectively combats this by pre preserving important details in shadows and highlands highlights the results are yeah, optimally exposed to photos that better reflect the scene as you saw it. Some of the in camera some of the in camera image and movie editing you can actually have a miniature effect, soft filter, colour outer line, perspective control, portrait, vivid, monochrome, and obviously a few others. It's also got eleven autofocus points. It only weighs approximately 505g, which is one pound point one eight ounces. And now, as you can see through these parts here, um, what sort of stuff fits the camera? Pause YouTube if you want to see any of this. I will take a photo. And basically, at the back, it gives you all of the information. I will take a photo. And that's basically it about the Nikon D3100. Um, yeah, so it is such a really simple camera. 
um, and really would recommend it to anyone who needs a DSLR and is only what they would call a beginner at DSLRs. Anyways, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like.